Coach, with the spring game coming up Saturday afternoon at 2 o'clock, uh, take me through the, the format of the game uh, as far as the players and the, the strategy you going into the spring game. A uh, good deal, Greg. We've got um, probably to be practice number 12. And so that being said, we, um, um, we're going we're gonna to start with, uh, we're going to do all our pregame activities. That game day has become such a great day with our family. Administration's done a great job of just incorporating things to increase our attendance and fan interaction, the youth clinic, the things on the field before the game. I, I, to me, it's not a gimmick or anything. It's great interaction with our fan base. And it's, it's in sp spring ball is kind of your version of Hoosier hysteria leading into basketball season. So we want a great crowd again with that. It is practice 12. We're not going to divide into a, into a team deal. We are going to scrimmage. We're going to do a little bit of, of practice on the front end to show some drills. I think I'm actually going to go up with our TV guys and explain to the BTN audience some of the Oklahoma drill. We do a few drills. We're not going to do that long enough to lose our crowd, but to show a little fundamental side of our coaching leading into me practice 12 a good day we'll scrimmage basically one offense against one defense we'll punt the ball for a punter but not really cover it two offense against two defense we'll call it cream and crimson we're going to keep score we're going to score touchdowns or not we're going to have defensive scores and stops or not so we're going to play a game with a little bit of practice leading into next week next thursday night which is an open practice starting at 6 with warm-ups. At 6.30 is, will be the final spring scrimmage where we divide the teams and we draft and do the spring game. And that's another one open to the public. It is tied into Little 500. We'd love to have all the local fans, anyone drive back down. That's another free experience. Won't have as much fan activity, but that's another great scrimmage opportunity next Thursday night on the 23rd. Sticking with Saturday leading up to that, aside from the practice and scrimmage type deal, when fans come and attend Memorial Stadium, what else can they expect? We're going to put everyone on the west side. It's in the sunshine over there. In the end zone, we're going to open up the gates at 12. There's going to be free food. They always have like hot dogs, popcorn, pretzels, free drinks. Um, I think they're actually having a social area for even adult beverages with a band in the end zone. I think they've got some bumper parts and kid, kid activities. We'll have the bucket there to get some pictures and get some things with the bucket. Our team will be having a little bit of interaction with that. We'll be warming up at about 140, 145. Uh, there's a youth clinic on the field with former players from 1230 to 130 with our coaches and players. Uh, there's tours of the facility. So there's a lot of activity going on with, uh, starting from between 12 and 2. We're going to start practice about 15, 20 minutes of fundamentals and try to be done by 345 to 4 o'clock. It'll be a fun day. Nice touchdown! Wow, what a play!